That's the hell of Peridol, isn't it? It'll be okay once I get up there concentrate. I better go see when they want you. You all right? I feel like I just swallowed a butterfly collection. Oh, you're gonna be fine. I just, I don't want to scare them. Uh, I feel so small. Well, just think of David and Goliath. Yeah, but I don't have a slingshot. Dr. Quincy, I, I don't know if I can really go through with this. Oh, you're gonna be fine. You can do it, Tony. Honest, you can. Mr. Tony Chiani, please. made some notes, but uh, in the interest of trying to avoid reading my own handwriting, I'll try to wing it. I've got my problems, but a lack of spontaneity has never been one of them. <laughs> Tourette syndrome is one of my problems, and uh, it's a doozy. The, uh, the symptoms started when I was about seven, and um, Unless I'm asleep or concentrating at the piano or other passions, uh, I get tics, and uh, my speech comes complete with sound effects. Uh, I could get into the physical symptoms. They're, they're pretty gruesome. But the mental anguish, that, that's the worst part. Being the object of laughter, and sometimes even hate. Being told by your teachers to shut up when there's nothing you'd rather do, but you can't. But even that's not the worst part. The worst part is that nobody believes that well, you've even got a disease. You, you hear things like, oh, Tony, he just wants attention. Or uh, if I had a kid like him, I could straighten him out with a few swift kicks. You, you get so you almost envy people in wheelchairs because at least nobody questions their handicap. <sighs> Maybe I should have stuck with my notes. Uh, because I, I really didn't come here to talk about myself. I'm one of the lucky ones. I'm not, I'm not sure I realized it until recently, but I've, I've got the world by the tail compared to a lot of people. I have a girlfriend who appreciates my sense of humor. And I have a father who loves me. And some pretty great friends. I'm thinking about the other victims. I mean, not just of Tourette's, but anyone who is unlucky enough to have a disease that never made it to the top 40. I'm thinking about a girl my age with myoclonus. It's another movement disorder. She gets her medication from a veterinary supply house. A chemical that isn't even pharmaceutically pure because no drug company wants an Edsel. And here we're talking about an orphan drug that exists. What chance does a Wilson's or a Tay-Sachs disease have when all the drug companies are tripping over each other, trying to come up with a better diet pill or a better sleeping pill? The truth is that the only real chance of research money going to these diseases is if you, the Congress, make the orphan drug bill a reality. If you don't act, please think of all the people you'll be writing off. I'm thinking of my friend, Jeff Rosenthal. He had Tourette's too. He was a, re he was a real movie nut. He loved it all. Laurel and Hardy, Bogey, Fritz Lang. But half the time, he'd get thrown out of the theater or chased out. The last time it happened, he, uh, he died running away. How come he had to run? Why couldn't someone say, hey, stop, take it easy. You have as much right to be here 
as the rest of us. We won't ignore you. You're not going to be an orphan forever. Thanks. I guess I'm done.